Congratulations, Patty's Pub. We are pleased to report that we are interested in featuring your bar on an upcoming episode of our show. Bar Rescue! Yes! How did this happen? I've been writing them a letter every week since the show first started. Well, how long's it been? Too long. What if they like edit it to like make me look stupid yeah, or something? This is a definite pass for me. <laughs> nah, Charlie, that's already been done. The editing to make you look stupid has already been done. I don't think much editing is needed anyway, but you know, Sunny has, has already done that for you. Bar rescue. I mean, for God's sakes, man, what if, what if my shirt falls off? Things are about to change here at Patty's Pub because our luck just turned around. Why am I seeing so many silverfish? I, I don't know where they're coming from, yeah. man. I cannot get rid of them. I, for one, don't want to be known as a silverfish man. I want to look good for the people watching in there. And the the the, uh, the boxes that, that people live in. You're talking about their homes? Y uh, yes, yeah, their homes. We have a problem, but whatever Whoa. you do, don't laugh. Thank oh, you really oh, 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 my eggs are all bloody. This is the kind of stuff that starts happening when someone's put a curse on you. I had a tiny little issue with a neighbor last night. Uh, thank God, damn door down. What? I baked you some brownies. Why are you baking me shit? Trying to poison me? Uh, no. If you could keep the noise down. Oh. Hey, I have something for you also. It's a trophy. See, it says, cunt of the year. You are a nasty woman, and bad things are going to happen to you one day. Well, there you go. It sounded like that lady cursed you. I don't know. I call ladies cunts all the time. We all do. This raises an even bigger concern. OK, what's that? Dee had no right to give that trophy away. What about my egg? You know what that might have been? You might have gotten cursed when you killed that seabird. Tasty. <laughs> oh shit! Well, a seagull. Oh, what a sweet little birdie. What's up? I'm surprised they didn't shoot it. He gave up his gun last time. That was the. Was that the episode where he shot everyone? I think that was the last episode. He shot everyone at the bar. Yeah. He shot the whole gang, man. So, uh, they took his gun, maybe. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't just pull out his gun and just, you know, start blasting. Die, you fucking Damn. It's bad luck to kill a seabird. Every sailor knows that. I don't sail. Nobody is cursed. Oh, really, Mac? Because I straight up heard Cricket curse you yesterday. For somnes, maledicte vineanis. Don't make your apologies. I will do nothing of the sort. It's irritating, anti-God, and most importantly, will not make for good bar rescue banter. How do you know all this curse stuff? Yeah. If a black cat crosses your path, do you spit over your left shoulder? You guys don't do that one? I don't know what that is. Do you make a wish when you blow out a damn candle? I mean, of course. Oh, yeah. Why do you do it? You do it just in case. Just in case is as good a reason to believe in anything as any. I think that just in case argument works for a lot of things. I think there are people who are religious just in case that shit is real. They're just trying to avoid, um, you know, <laughs> the bad shit that might happen. If that shit actually happens to be real and you didn't pay attention, you know? There's a lot of just-in-case believers out there, man. In a lot of things. Charlie makes a very good point. A very good point, you know? Superstition is all about that, you know? Things that you do to avoid bad luck. It's just-in-case, man. You know? And just-in-case is as, as good a reason as any. Well done, Charlie. I'm pretty sure you have Bell's palsy. I, uh, I looked it up. But first, you've got to apologize to your neighbor. She's got the trophy. I want to get the trophy back. You had no right to give that to her. I'm the brother of this horrible woman, and she just wanted to come by and tell you that she's very... Oh, this is not the time to forget. Bro, if you forget right now, it just seems rude that you showed up to just troll this woman, man. Sorry? S sorry, yes. Goddamn. Do you, do you perhaps still have that? Yeah, I have it. You get it. Uh-oh. Hmm. Whoa, did, did you see that? What? A, a black cat just ran out of her apartment. It just... That's bad omen. Oh. Oh! oh. oh. Boy, that's a shame. Thank you for this, yeah. though. Do you have a cat? Because I think I just saw one run out of your apartment. I got a cat. I had a little black cat. Her name was Maureen. She's been dead for years. I was murdered to a woman named Maureen. Huh? Huh? No, I been married. Dude just fucking slipped up, man. He slipped up. Keep the noise down at night. Yeah, good. You got a cunt. Chase Sutley's back in town. He's coming out of his apartment any second now. As a good intel, because I only got one good shot at this. <laughs> 
cricket has a slut tattoo man right here slut look at his face it looks like he's made of leather now i got you a sixer if i'm being honest i drank four two of those are piss because i was stuck in the van i'm just glad yeah. to have a beverage all right <clears throat> all right um dominus is okay. to sanctum okay you're off. I was lifting the curse that I put on you. I don't believe in curses. Yeah, that's anti-God, and God is the reason that all things happen. I gotta show you something, Cricks, but you gotta keep it a secret. Something wrong with your dick? What? I gotta charge you for it. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you're gonna whip it out, uh, we're on the clock, all right? This is how Cricket does it. This is his, uh, his shtick of letting you know that he's down to do that without being like... You know, he, he acts like he's being defensive about it, but that's how he gets guys, you know. Because that's what he does. He does that for to survive out here, man. He, keep, he tells us every chance he gets that that's what he does, you know. He's always banging dudes for money or whatever, man. You know, to feed his crack. Uh, I don't know if it's crack or whatever. His PCP addiction or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I love his cell. His cell is like, uh, dude, if that's what we're doing, then I guess, you know, I have to charge you. <laughs> It's such a reverse psychology thing, man. You know? You have the other cell where it's someone telling you that, you know, this is what I do. If you're down, let's do it. Cricket just misinterprets everything you do to make the conversation about that, man. It's so fucking... It's a psychological fucking... I don't know. It's equivalent to telling people to hold you back so you don't beat someone up when in reality you don't really want to fight them. You want to be held back. <laughs> you want to seem like a badass, but you don't want to to be afforded the opportunity to prove that you're a badass. So you're like, well, somebody, somebody, someone better hold me back before I kill this guy. You don't really want to fight that guy. That's what he's doing. What is that? It's a monkey, a monkey hand. Oh, and I think it's good luck. Yeah, that must stink, man. Wait, that's, there he is, there he is. Okay, let's go. Sunday! Sunday, I'm open up your time, sir. It's me, Mac. I don't know, Mac. I wrote you a letter every week for the last 10 years. Did you I not receive my letters? Guy. Wait. Dear Mac, it's my fourth favorite thing after baseball, running fast, and my dad. I hope you have a good life. Fans like you make my life a grand slam. I thought Mac was a little kid. He's little Mac, I'm Big Mac, and you shall have a catch with him. Your hair is throwing me. It's making me very nervous. I don't know, man. I'm pretty busy. We're all busy, but the boy is sick. He's dying. He's got leukemia, and you shall have a catch with him. I'll tweet that you didn't. I'm sorry, I've threatened you. Maybe, but for like five minutes tops. Yes. I'm really busy. Yes. Oh, Charlie, I didn't think you could make it. Shit, I forgot it was Uncle Jack's birthday. Sit next to me. Nah, I'm good. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, you. to you. You and I hold hands. Nope. Nope. Okay, ready? Frank killed a seagull. Ah! Ah! Now, is that the kind of thing that could put like a curse on Frank? Yes. If you kill a gull. The sailor can hunt you for the rest of its life. He could slit Frank's throat with a horn of a goat and drink a bowl of his blood. He could behead the gull and wear its skull around his neck for the rest of his life. I kicked it under one of the boots so I didn't have to clean it up. Anything else? You could give the seagull a proper burial. That's the reasonable one, you know? You can do that just in case. You know, <laughs> Uncle John, stop! Stop putting your hand on me! Maureen Ponderosa, I wanted to keep it as a uh, uh, souvenir. Oh, a trophy. trophy. From the murder. Like a souvenir from your victim. Not a souvenir. No. Ah. Uh, what the hell is that? That's the girlfriend killed. Oh, that's his dead wife. Yeah. Well, it's like a trophy. The crazy bitch had it in her will that she wanted to be buried in a pet cemetery, and I refused. Why would you do that? Because she's not a cat. Yeah, but dude, like, that's, that's the exact kind of thing that could lead to a curse. I get that now. You said get a kid. I mean, his name on the street is literally Kid. I can be whatever you want me to be, champ. I'll make your dreams come true. There you go. Make it sexy. Let's go. Show me your face. Show me your face. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Another cricket, huh? No eyes. Yeah. It's all about respect. Cricket is now a pimp and that was his boy slot? Uh, that's oversimplifying it. Oh, he's got a monkey ball. <laughs> oh, come on, Cricket. That's a secret. I'm going to go with him in the bathroom and finish up the... Yeah. Ever since I found this monkey's paw, my luck has totally turned around. That's not random at all. Well, that's probably the monkey that worked here, robbed us, and fucked our faces. Actually, I found him by the office, but I kicked him behind the kegs because I didn't feel like cleaning him up. And there's also a shit ton of mold back there. I don't there. know how I missed that. Your wife, the golem, was left with the monkey. We're gonna bury them all in a pet cemetery. I'm confused. This is your son? He was only 10 years old when he died. He's dead now. Okay, man, what is this? What's going on? I found this monkey paw and it's brought me really good luck. And I know that you don't think super.
Na people in sports believe in superstitions like crazy. Superstitions are real and that this is all ridiculous. Not real. But... Of course they're real. Yeah, of course. Sports is all about superstition, man. Why don't you hand over that monkey paw? He wants the monkey paw to, to get out of his slump. I'm really sorry, man. I think... Hold on, fan, baby, here I come! I think Chase Utley just stole my monkey paw. Temporary facial paralysis and brain fog are all symptoms of exposure to high levels of mold. That might also explain the silverfish. Yeah, no, it does. Actually, it does. They eat mold. Is it possible, Frank, that that egg was a seagull egg? We regret to inform you that we came by your bar and there was nobody there. We have decided to rescind our offer. We wish you the best of luck, your friends at Bar Rescue. No, you were never lucky. Okay, you just bombarded them both with mail. Okay, we're just the type of... We're just the type of people to bury fun. various animals and, and, and... What about me? What about my luck? There's no real explanation as to why bad things would happen to you. But it is what nice it is. <laughs> that episode was uh, decent. Superstitions are a thing, man. You know, especially with athletes right there at the end. You know, some are massive, some are minor. You have minor superstitions, so it's like uh, kissing, kissing your boots before you walk onto the pitch. Maybe it's a dance you do, and when you forget, you feel like fuck, man. I don't know how someone lets themselves get into that kind of mindset about stuff. For me, I think I'd be the kind of player that's like, you know, no superstitions, like whatever, man. Um, <laughs> this acting here was just she had to do that whole face, this whole sh this whole episode, man. Also, I wonder if the the mold thing is. It's probably real you know that long long term exposure to mold can probably affect your thinking i assume it would affect your breathing too uh, let me know if that artly guy I'm, i i think it didn't feel like an actor this guy feels like a, is it baseball it feels like a like a like a like a like a, like a player you know you saw uncle jack Keep your fucking hands off me, man. I love Charlie. Charlie is so clear. <laughs> Every time he meets Charlie, he tries to touch him, man. Charlie's not having any of it, man. Not having any, any of it, man. I'll see you guys in the next episode. This was okay. It wasn't that good. It wasn't too bad either. It was just okay, man.